I um, offered to do some hours at Sarah's clinic. You are helping the woman who dumped you from a great height. You know how you offer to do a few hours on the shop floor? Oh, that's what I came to talk to you about. Phew. I won't be able to do it. I have to look after my own life and you have to get on with yours. TK offered to be your GP slave yet? You and your stupid bits. Yes, a hundred dollars, thank you. Get lost. Sarah and TK up a tree. Will you please just drop it? He has since decided to withdraw completely from the clinic. He's going to be a silent partner only. Mm, Brooke must have got to him. Of course she did. I'm going to be running the place solo from now on. Uh, Chris, I've just had a call from a colleague of yours, Phil Jorgensen. I was just about to call him. Well, you've left it too late. He heard how the surgery went on that boy. The mother must have contacted him. Fair enough. Too right it's fair, especially after you virtually poached his patient. I was trying to help. Well, it didn't pay off. And Jorgensen's none too happy how you sold your services to the mother, either. A warning, if I may. Uh, we're all here, so let's get started. Uh, before we kick off, we'd just like to remind staff about maintaining professional boundaries with patients and their immediate relatives. Mm. Doug, what you did was wrong and you have to face up to that. If you don't go to the police, you know that I will. Yes, you did a lot of good as a cop, but you've stepped over the line, way over, and if... All right. Yeah, okay. Doug. Yeah, bye. He wants to hold off until after his daughter's birthday on Friday. It's not fair putting you through this. He should man up, turn himself in. He said he'd rather die than have Dad find out. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just a little bit sweetie. Hey. You, you can't go through this on your own. Like I said, you need to share it with your family. I'm just gonna go and take a shower, okay? Sarah, got a sec? There's been another tender for the PCC. But I'm just about to sign a lease agreement on a building. What? Don't. Not yet, anyway. I thought it was going to be a one-horse race, but it seems you have last-minute competition. Who else would be crazy enough to take on a primary health clinic? Daily Health. But they've, they franchise accident and medical clinics. I... Yeah, and it's likely they'll turn the PCC into another one. That's awful. Everything that we've done for the community, the outreach programs? Exactly. Well, how are they going to find doctors? I'm struggling to get anyone to answer my calls, let alone work there. Well, they get recent graduates, work them hard, burn them out, then recruit the next batch. Where's the continuity of care in that? Genuine patient care isn't part of their business model. Our bottom line is everything. Also, when I suggested a fair price for the PCC, I may have been a little on the cheap side. Callum, what are you saying? I'm saying their tender is extremely competitive. Well, how do you know? Everything's sealed and locked up until this. I've been in this town long enough to know how to get the lowdown when I need it. Just don't ask me any questions. So you know what the bit is? But I couldn't possibly tell you. It would be unethical of me to give you that figure, but you know how much I want you to have the winning tender. Now I'm just going to step out for a moment. Do what? Be friendly to her. Why do you even care? I shouldn't care that our lecturer is giving out grades for sex. I wouldn't have the slightest clue he's doing that. He was all over her. Plus, he gave her an extension, which he never gives to anyone else. Oh, well, maybe, but it doesn't add up to grades for sex. Have you seen how she dresses? She'd so be up for it. Now, are you going to back me or not? Hey. Hey. Lauren and I were just saying what a gorgeous dress that is. 
Thanks. So we're just gonna go and grab a coffee. Can I shout you one? I've kind of got to do some catch-up study. Cool. Is Ash helping you with that, you know, catching up and all? No. He's a nice guy, Ash. How did you get him to give you an extension on your assignment? I got lucky, I suppose. Why? No reason. I just wish I could twist him around my little finger. I've really got to study, if that's okay. No problem. We were just leaving. Let's see. She got snippy about it. She's covering. There is something going on. Hey. Yeah. I uh, told Sarah I won't be helping out with the clinic. It was the right thing to do. Well, I'm still obliged to be co-investor, but that's it. I know it must have hurt to tell her. Yeah, she's an adult. She's got a partner. Let's see Maxwell step up and spend some of his free time checking sore throats and grumpy babies. <laughs> that I would pay to see. Mm. <laughs> Ciao. Oh, hey. Do you want some coffee? Sure. Thanks. So, I hear you're applying to work in medical. Fingers crossed. Not tempted to just take the redundancy and blow it all on a big trip. <laughs> I'm pretty happy here. Keeping an eye on TK, huh? Actually, I don't need to. Things are going pretty well with us. Really well, in fact. Nice. And if kids come along, it'd be a big help if we both stay local. Kids? I know, it terrifies me how bad a mum I'd be, but TK's so keen. Oh, you'd be great. I would be so-so. TK would be great. Eden was totally holding back. You were being nosy and she just didn't want to answer your question. Exactly, because there's something she doesn't want us to know. Yeah, like her business, as in not yours. I'm telling you, smoke fire, sex for grapes. For someone who claims they want to be an investigative journalist, you're not doing a lot of investigating. I only just begun... Just a reminder, I've got a bunch of you guys coming by my place tonight to watch that DVD on ethics and documentary filmmaking. Uh, yeah, we'll be there. Thanks. A documentary about documentaries? Ooh. Why are we doing this? <laughs> so the try-hard lecturer can be down with the kids. To investigate, you can be my sidekick. <laughs> you can distract Ash with some cleavage while Sophie's going through his emails. Inappropriate? Illegal? <laughs> Inappropriate is him even asking you guys to his house. It's probably illegal too. I could sneak a look, maybe. No way. All right, forget the emails. We'll just buddy up with Eden and hopefully if she relaxes, she might start talking. Crazy suggestion, but how about dropping the whole thing? No, because I think Hunter's right. Ash is a sleaze which would make an A-plus journalistic expose, yes? Wow, that smells good. I'm doing a thali. I thought it might cheer you up. Thank you, it already has. Beer? I prefer a juice if there's any left. Shanti's mum taught me this one. Preparation is everything, Scotty. Preparation and presentation. Where do you get all the ingredients? Uh, Shanti took me to all the uh, Asian stores in town. I'd have to buy uh, curry from this one and never from that one. Back in India, I watched her haggle. I mean, I don't go to the dairy and tell the guy I'm not going to pay more than two bucks for that litre of milk. And there she is, beating down this poor shopkeeper over the price of pickle. Might be laughing gear around that. She is. She's got a... This will be about half an hour. Scotty, I'm confused. I thought maybe we were together. I can't. Can't what? Us. Because. Shanti. Too hard on him. He's the first in his family to be born without a tail. Oh, <laughs> Thanks. Man, if that hits could fly, this place would be an airport. They're not too bad. At least they're up front, not like the real sleezers. Anyone I should watch out for? Too many to name. Anyway, you're okay. You're going with that guy. Yeah, Dana's okay. I don't know what you have to do to get a boyfriend around here. You shouldn't have any trouble getting a boyfriend. <laughs> One that sticks around the next day. 
Made some bad choices, huh? As bad as they get. Are you okay? Have you ever had a termination? I can't say I have, no. I'm having one tomorrow. Whatever. Stuff happens, right? Yes, but I would have preferred you'd called me before you called my CEO. I'll arrange handover tomorrow, yes. All right, goodbye. Dr. Jorgensen. Very unhappy, Dr. Jorgensen, who apparently has a 100% success rate with his ops. Well, he's not angry about the fact the operation didn't work out. He's angry at you. I could tell. And what did you expect? You stole his patient. I did nothing of the sort. I consulted with him the whole way. You fancied the mother of one of his patients, came up with a new approach and sold it to her. I mean, what the hell were you thinking, Chris? That it's okay to try and bed some woman while doing life and death surgery on her son? I've already had your opinion, thanks, and a near public outing in the HOD meeting. You've stepped over so many lines in this case. You're lucky it's not a worse result for the boy or for your career. Are you done? Breakdowns for last quarter's budget. Make sure that boy's handover goes well. And if you need a woman, Try a singles bar, not a waiting room. Someone said you were married. Is that for real? Uh-huh. Happily? Very. You still want to talk to me? Huh? Sorry? I just saw someone I have to talk to. <laughs> hey. Newsflash. Guess which one of these girls is pregnant? You're kidding. No, she's about to get it terminated. That's awful. Yeah, I know she's a country girl, but don't they have contraception out there? That's not her fault, it's his. Maybe. What, how did you find out about this? She kind of let it slip. I think she's lonely. She didn't say who the dad was. Oh, that scumbag, look at him. Yeah, and Miss Hicksville, no friends, is pretty vulnerable. Scrap the front page. Sex for grades is out. Let's run with Predator Professor. Point, I feel I should be more sensible and say it's still none exactly of our business. Right. <laughs> Whatever you do, just try and listen to them when they're talking privately. Between us, we should be able to find out the rest of the story. Hey, you're not supposed to be working late, Missy. Well, you're still here, so what's your excuse? I've been down in radiology checking out oh, this. Oh, the new scanner's not here already, is it? No, just looking at the space. Rubbing your hands with glee? I don't hate the scanner. I don't. I hate daily health. I heard a rumour that they're putting in a tender for the PCC. Wow, there's some big competition. Big boys with big toys. Mm. But can they offer continuity of care like me? Probably not, but can you offer a fracture clinic, soft tissue clinic? Not yet, but I have plans to expand. On-site physio, x-ray facilities. They have x-ray facilities? Why don't you go work for them? No stress, big pay packet. Yeah, big prices for the patients though. A rip-off, in fact. Well, there's nothing you can do about that. Well, there is something I can do about that, actually, in my own clinic, via my amazingly competitive tender. I don't know why I bother sometimes. Neither do I. Mm. All right, everyone enlightened? Mm, a few more of these and I will be. Play it again. When they make competitive drinking an Olympic sport, Josh, we know you'll make us proud. Anyone want to comment on the film? I think some of the girls would like to comment on his bedroom. <laughs> Lauren? I was just saying uh, there's now a niche for documentaries on documentaries about documentaries. Very true. All right, bugger off everyone. But thanks for coming by. I'm glad so many thought it was worthwhile checking out. Ah, well, well, lucky us. Give it here, I need it as a prop. For what? So I can eavesdrop. Just wait for me, okay? Drink, yeah? Sorry, I thought I should confiscate this. <laughs> Thanks for that. Take care of him, eh? Will do. Night. Sorry, looks like it's just you and the boys for drinks tonight. You're lost. Hey, guys, wait up! That up close and personal, it looks really tense. They could have been talking about her late assignment. Come on, he got her pregnant, now he's forcing her to get a termination. She's got no one else to lean on but him. 
por mes. How's life? Complicated. How's yours? Same. So you and Tracy... I just thought... Yeah, we're mates. Anything more misses with both our heads. You have a good one. Cheers. What's Chuck all so gloopy about? His wife is still dead. Is that a good enough reason? You're not taking this well, are you? The neurosurgery case. We had a good chance of success, but it didn't work out. Anyway, I'm passing the word back to his regular surgeon today. You're kidding. We just got started. I'd like you to deal with the handover. Thank you. OK, here's the thing. Uh, we both need to put an extra 10 grand into our bid. Hey, why? There's been another tender, Daily Health. How did you find out about this? By being nosy. Did Callum tell you? It doesn't matter how I found out. Well, it does if he gets done for insider trading. How can he? He gets no financial benefit. Anyway, like I said, I did some snooping, so let's just leave it at that, OK? So, are you in? This is dodgy, Sarah. You shouldn't even know there's another tender, let alone how much the bid. Well, officially, I don't. And now, neither do you. It's just another 10 grand. What's another 10 grand, right? It's peanuts. I have no chance of getting the PCC without it. Please? Yes! Dallas, hi. He's angry. Fair enough. He knows you tried your best. But now he's facing more surgery. I can't tell you how badly I feel about this. I spoke to Dr. Jorgensen. He said you were handing us back to him this afternoon. He also was not happy with me or the situation. I can't blame him either. We'll be OK. We'll muddle through. We always do. It should be me trying to come for you. I appreciate the effort you made on our behalf. Dallas, um, Harry, he says hi. Uh, I know that you are angry with me, but I hope that you and Harry can still be friends. I'll get on with organising that handover. One CV and one job application. Ah, accepted. And I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you. Shall I just put it with the others? Those are all job applications? 19 so far. Wow. We've had quite a few online applications as well. Our revised tender. Best of luck, Sarah. Well, if we can keep the PCC from turning into an A&M clinic, it won't be luck that did it. Not that we'd mention it, ever. No, no. And nor will TK. He's a bit sus, but he doesn't know anything for sure. Right. If I didn't believe this was for the greater good... Hey, you wanted to protect your baby, and that tender should do it. Okay. Sarah, hypothetically speaking, any evidence of knowledge of a competing tender is completely destroyed, yes? Completely. In that case, Sarah, may the best tender win. Scotty. <clears throat> it took me ages before I stopped feeling guilty about having a relationship. After Tony died, I mean. I just can't go there, you know. Yeah, I know. But uh, don't beat yourself up. And if one day it does feel right, go for it. I mean, that's what Shanti would want, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes I wonder if it's more pity Tracy feels for me. <sighs> pity is underrated. It means she cares. I guess. I mean, yeah, I know she does. And you care for her? Yeah. Plus, some nights. Yeah, yeah, you're lying there, knowing that she's lying there on the other side of the wall. Yeah, yeah, enough already. Uh, yeah, it's not an easy call, mate. Risk your conscience by charging in too soon, risk a great friendship. Yeah, yeah. I'm not helping at all, am I? No, not at all. You were so right. Ash is a total sleaze. 
Was he making a hair determination or is it her choice? I don't know, but it wouldn't be very good for his career if a first year is suddenly parading around a pregnant tummy saying it's his. Well, I guess we'll find out if he is a real sleaze if he drops her right after the termination. Yeah, that's my bet. We don't know anything for sure. We know a lot more than we did and none of it reflects well on Ash. People need to know what he's really like. Just be careful. You don't want to be charged with libel or make things worse for the girl. Hunter's right. You can't go blaming any of us around. Look, I'm not backing away from this. It's Eden now, but who knows how many others before her? If the guy deserves to be taken down, take him down. If. So you guys gonna back me on this? I'm in. As long as we keep checking our facts. We will. And then he can get what's coming to us. Hi. Hey. Picked up a bottle of that nice red wine you like. Oh, thanks, but I was thinking of heading out to her. Sure. Maybe another time, eh? Where are you headed? I was just looking at the movies. Yeah, which one? Either Thin Air or Hope's Edge. Looking out with the girls then, eh? No, just me. Isn't that a bit lonely? No. Do you want some company? Nah, I'll be fine. I mean, it's not like you can talk at the movies. It's not a very social thing to do at all, really. <laughs> You're either stuffing popcorn in your mouth or you've got ice cream dribbling down your front. It's not classy at all why some people go on dates. You're enough, huh? I thought it best I move out. And if I asked you to stay? It's too much. Don't go. Buddy. Oh, I'm going out of my mind. I miss you when you're not here. I lie awake at night thinking of you. I don't care about all the other stuff. The guilt. What other people might think. I want you. <laughs> 